Good morning, everyone. Lawrence Fleming here again. Well, yesterday I gave you some basic headlines. Like I said, not to scare you, but just to let you know that God knew what was doing, what he was doing. We are to ignore all those things that are going wrong and get out and keep spreading the word. So we're going to see that today, that uh, he's given us some examples and he gives us a command. The world is crazy. And we can't, we can't leave till he takes us out of here one way or the other. So you put a smile on your face and you just ignore it. Oh yeah, yeah, that, that big thing being destroyed over there, God said us we're going to have problems like that. Or that war going on over there, yeah, he told us about that. There's no way to get around it. And we are in evil times. But the people need the word now more than ever. Hmm. Coffee in the morning, yes. <clears throat> We've been working the last two days. Today we're still going to be filming some pickup scenes for today. This producer is a little bit aggressive on what he wants to do. We're filming our regular film, but then he's filming parts for things that he's going to do in the future. And By having some of these parts filmed, then he can put up little advertisement videos to tell people about what's coming. It's smart. Well, God's already given us that example. He's given us all the things that are going to happen. He's shown us the videos of the prophets, because that's what I call them. When we look at the book of Revelation, he's covering the things that are going to happen in little short videos. It's not one big long story in the book of Revelations. It's a series of short videos. So let's take a look here. I've got, I was going to go to my regular spot this morning. You have to be flexible whenever you're working for God. The big family that had taken up the whole bottom end of the peninsula that I'm on, where I normally go down and video, they cleared out yesterday, last night. So much that when we got back last night, they were still here and, and they're gone in the morning. So, thank you, God, I have a place to go. Well, there's a lake and fishermen start fishing early. So some truck with two guys in it gets down there, <clears throat> pulls into those spots, hops out and starts fishing. Okay, God, I'll do whatever you want. <clears throat> And I've got a couple that's right next to us with a dog that barks. Just got to deal with it. So turn with me to 2 Timothy 3. And I keep forgetting to bring my light. I look around and it's light and it's fine. And I try not to do artificial light if I don't have to. Normally there's enough ambient light, the sun and everything. So I don't bring my light. I didn't bring my, oh, I do have my microphone, but I don't think we need it. So, 2 Timothy 3, starting in verse 1. And we've covered these before, so I'm just going to reinforce them. But know this, that in the last days, perilous times will come. No kidding. But he knew about it. This was written, we're in Timothy, so this is written a couple thousand years ago. And they hadn't, you know, they hadn't seen the destruction of Jerusalem yet. For men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, proud. I got to try not to look down. Blasphemers, disobedience to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanderers, without self-control, brutal, brutal, despisers of good, traitors, headstrong, 
Hottie lovers. Yes. All we have to do is look around. Look at some of the news going on. I hear the sound of a helicopter. That would be a military grade helicopter. Heard many of those. So we may take a little break here while we wait for this to go by. I'll be right back. Okay, let's get back to our average human trait running around today. Uh, having a form of godliness but denying its power. And from such people, turn away. I think for Christians that's kind of a easy thing to follow. But we're still supposed to go out in the world and spread the gospel, so how do you do that? Just trust God when you go out. He will protect you. <clears throat> okay, so anyhow, there's more of, the, more of that in here you can read. But let's jump over to chapter 4, verse 1. I charge you, therefore, before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who will judge the living from the dead his appearance and his kingdom. Preach the word. Exclamation point. Preach the word. Be ready in season and out of season. Convince, rebuke, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and teaching. <clears throat> we are supposed to be doing that. Now, we unfortunately have an image of the ten virgins in their lamps just sitting around doing nothing, waiting for the, the bridegroom. But the message there was to be ready, not to sit around and do nothing. We have work to do. Find a way to do it. Okay, so now let's turn to Galatians 6-7. And again, we've, we've covered all these verses before, so this is just refresh. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man sows, that he will also reap. For he who sows to the flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. But he who sows to the Spirit will of the Spirit reap everlasting life. That's our reward with God, of course. Everybody's going to live forever. Everybody. Whether you live in hell or heaven is the only question. And let us not grow weary while we're doing good. But for in due season we will reap if we do not lose heart. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all. Especially to those who are of the household of the faith. You go, well, how do I talk to people? You don't have to talk to people if you're doing good. They will come to you and ask questions. You don't have to go out and witness cold. Just be out helping people. And they're going to say, why are you like this? We have to give an accounting for why we have the spirit, the outward spirit of God in us. Just go out and do good. Find a place. Find people that need help. And you will have a permanent audience. And we've covered this. The, we're in Galatians, and that's where we have the, uh, in 5, we have the, the uh, gifts, the fruit of the Spirit. If you've got the Spirit, you've got these fruits. This isn't the same as giving us abilities or talents, gift of preaching and things like that. This is the Spirit. If you have the Spirit, you have these. Love, joy, peace, long-suffering or patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, 
and self-control. You show those gifts to people and they're going to say, how can I get those gifts? I don't have love. Nobody loves me. You're going to find people like that. I have no joy. I have no peace. I'm certainly not patient. It's hard to be kind when you're feeling alone. There's no goodness in me. There's no faithfulness, no gentleness or self-control. The world is missing these. You just simply have to display them, show them, and they're going to want more of it. It's real simple. Be like Christ with these spiritual gifts, and people will flock to you. They will come to you just like they did for him. And you don't even have to do miracles like he did. Now, I, the time is coming where I think we're going to see more outward miracles, of course. Inward miracles are going on all the time, ones that we don't see. God is always running interference for us, and we don't see it. That's where your faith comes in. But he will do outward miracles so that people will then be drawn to us. And finally with this, let's go ahead and turn to Matthew 24. <clears throat> And we are, of course, very familiar with this again. We're going to go to verse 6. Okay, well, I'm just going to go back to verse 4. And Jesus answered and said to them when they asked about the end times, Take heed that no one deceives you. We're very familiar with this. For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and will deceive many. They're out there now. Little a antichrists are all over. There are plenty of them. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled. You hear this stuff on the news like I talked about yesterday? Just smile and say, you told us about these things. You knew about it. These things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So there have been wars, you know, if you want to look, open up a history book, you're going to see nothing but war from the beginning to the end. The Bible is a good history book. It's about war. The ruler of this world doesn't like mankind, and he tries to stir up trouble all the time. <clears throat> For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. Nation is really basically ethnos, it's ethnic groups, faction groups. If Israel wasn't there for the Muslims to fight against, they'd be killing each other. And they often do. So, you know, that's why the leaders sometimes try to pick on Israel and keep them in the focus because it keeps them from killing their own kind. And there will be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in various places. But we're getting earthquakes all over the place. we got volcanic action going on all over the place. All these things are the beginning of sorrows. Sorrows referring to labor pains. We know where we're at. I get somebody occasionally that it's got some theoretically bad teaching. They may be a Christian, but they've gotten bad teaching because there's bad teaching out there all over the place. Satan tries to deal with that. I had someone yesterday, and I tell you this all the time. If you're a post-tribber, throw away your eschatology because you're wrong. And don't bring it to my page. Because these guys, not only do they love to argue about it, because it is an indefensible position that God would put his people, his bride, through the tribulation. God would never do that. Not my God. Maybe yours will, but mine won't. But then they also want to get over here and convince everybody that they're right. So they sit there and they post comment after comment. And it's all wrong. It's heretical. I 
do what I usually do. I put up with it for a little while, and then I have to block them because they just won't give up. Post trivers are like that because there's, they're entirely wrong. Now, the problem that we've got is they're partly right, and that's how Satan does this. There are three tribulations, the one in the front, the pre-trib that we all are waiting for. Then we have the, there's a mid-tribulation, there's not as many people. And there's one at the end for cleanup. Got to get all the bright into heaven. And then when we come back to rule, we're all together. But don't look for the wedding feast yet. <clears throat> the wedding feast is not until this is all over. You can't celebrate why people are suffering. That's not God. Uh, something fell on our tin roof. A pine cone, probably. All right, well, I've got to go to work today. This is the last day. <clears throat> when I edit this, I might put a couple of pictures in of what we were doing. I'm, of course, having fun doing this, and it's more Star Trek stuff, so it's good, wholesome, wholesome stuff. No, no real swearing. That every once in a while you have to throw something in because if you're doing a period piece, they did. So forgive me if I say anything like that or, or somebody else does when you watch these movies, but for the most part, they're good, clean, wholesome. This is coming out of the 60s. They weren't allowed to be bad. Uh, now you can put anything you want on TV. Back then, they couldn't. Some TV tries to stay wholesome, but other parts don't care. And of course, you can go online and see anything you can imagine. And don't spend a lot of time on that because it can get really bad. You want to see Sodom and Gomorrah? Just go online and look for stuff. Be careful. It's not good. We are in the end times, and the people are reflecting it. Get out there and do good to everybody, and you will find it will weed out those that need help, and they will come to you. And just have a, have a verse or two ready. If you're not good at that, carry a track like I do. <clears throat> I've got little card tracks, you know, credit card or business card type tracks, and I have the one that I've shown you before that I use as a bookmarker, so I've always got it. And I'm willing to give it up at any time and grab another one out of the box. It's, it's simple. God will give you the ability, the words to say, but you don't need all that to go out and be good to people. You know how to do that. Don't do it by yourself. Always be with God, but... Everybody can do that. I don't care what situation you're in. You can be good to people. And maybe you don't feel like it. It's a good thing that the Spirit of God is not tied to feelings. All right. Enjoy what's left of the weekend. I see this is Sunday, so it'll be going out on Monday. My weekend, well, the weekend will be over, I guess, by the time you see this. I hope you had a good weekend. How's that? But make the best of the week. Don't forget you have Father's Day coming up. If you're a single mother, you can still celebrate. God will be there in all situations. And we meet in the clouds. Leaving this covered party area, if you've got an event or whatever, you can get these, rent them out. Walking towards the water. I don't see the normal birds out that we have. I guess they know that it's going to be raining here soon.
little play area for kids. <clears throat> and a big play area for adults. I like to boat or fish. Blessings, everyone. <laughs>